A uh, quick video on uh, an action which um, was competing with Mauser way back when and s uh, people were asking me about it and I, I went into my uh, <coughs> uh, vault drawers and found these. This is a terribly corroded Steyr 1908. These are Madlacher Schoenauer actions and um, you can see this one's in bad shape. This one you know, I buy these things when I come across them. Obviously, this this needs this work and parts. Uh, I came across this one, and it's just about complete. And uh, if you know, this would be perfect for a custom rifle. Uh, again, you can't hear how smooth this is, but it's uh, it's terrific machining, excellent. So you can see the bolt has to be a little further forward because the receiver bridge is split and the bolt handle doesn't work out back there. It's kind of a slightly different concept. You know how I, how, how I like and um, respect the features of the Mauser 98, and this, this was a different way to go. Um, some beautiful custom rifles made on this, and probably the classic caliber is 6.5 by 54, but there were others. It has this neat magazine s system. Um, you, ju you just depress here, that allows this plate to slide. And then um, you can see it's a spool. Um, uh, the configuration of the spool is designed for the 6.5 by 54 in this case. Um, so therefore, you kind of have to stick to that cartridge, which is just a bit of a disadvantage, unlike the Mauser where the follower can be used of, uh, for you know a number of similar cartridges. But positive feeding, they never jam because each cartridge is in its own little compartment and uh, you can see um, how this was machined out I mean the milling operations I don't know how many there were but it's lots anyway I just thought I would show you that because <clears throat> they're starting to get hard to find and I don't know what I'll do with these um, you know actions I have to find parts someplace anyway very simple video but um, worth looking at these actions and if you come across a rifle, you know, decently priced and in good condition, um, I'd buy it. And uh, thanks for watching.